Good old four versus five matchup out west. The Los Angeles Clippers hosting the Dallas Mavericks. This is a rematch of a first round matchup that we saw in the bubble last year. Now it is worth noting, just to add a little fuel to this rivalry that's starting to brew here. The Clippers had a chance at the three seed, but clearly they either didn't want to smoke with the Trailblazers or Lakers in the first round of the playoffs, whomever would have gotten that six spot, right? Or they really liked their chances against the Dallas Mavericks this year again. Whatever the case is, Ty Lue and the Clippers are taking on Dallas again in the first round. If you remember that series last year, it was eventful. Like Luka and the Mavs made it tough on Kawhi and the Clippers. Remember the moment of all moments of that series was Luka Doncic's big time game winner fading to his left. And then the, the big foul from Marcus Morris on Luka Doncic as well was a big moment in the series. Kristaps Porzingis' body couldn't hold up in that series, another key factor. Kawhi, Kawhi and the Clippers ended up taking that bad boy. For me this year, though, the most important element of this series is pace. And you got two of the greatest in the game today at the helms for both teams, right? Luka Doncic, to me, is maybe the second or third best in the league at controlling pace. Like, Kawhi Leonard, to me, today is the best player in this series. Luka Doncic is the most important player in this series. And then on the other end, Rajon Rondo. I mean, you know, Rondo's no longer a top five guard in the league, no longer a top seven guard in the league. But this playoff Rondo, baby, this man's coming off of a championship. There are not too many point guards in the league that are better at controlling pace than Rajon Rondo. I have this series going seven games. The only reason why I'm not picking Luka Doncic in the Mavs is because while Luka's having to focus on Rondo and all the smart basketball IQ plays he's making, the Clippers also still got Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. And I think Paul George desperately needs to add to his legacy. So with all things being considered, I'm picking the Clippers to win this one, but I think this is a seven-game series for real. And, you know, the Mavs added a couple of decent pieces. J.J. Redick, playoff time. He missed it last year for the first time in his career. You know he's going to want to try to avenge that this year with probably one of his last opportunities here uh, to, to, to make some noise in, 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 in his career. So, hey, J.J. Redick's there. Also, the uh, Mavs got, got Josh Richardson all year. You know, some people will say they should have kept Seth Curry to each his own. I like some of the Mavs moves. Over the last calendar year, I just don't love them. Dorian Finney-Smith has improved. I like Dwight Powell, but I still think that team is missing a dog on the perimeter, and that's why I don't have the confidence to pick them to win this thing. But you clearly see I got respect for them. The Clippers, to me, are the best team in the Western Conference, and I still don't, you know, I'm, t I'm saying that they're going seven games with the Clippers. That's a lot of respect for Dallas, but I don't have the ultimate confidence uh, that the, the Clippers can stop Luka Doncic for at least three games in this series to control the pace of it. And I think there are going to be spots when we're like, yo, Luka's better than Kawhi. Again, I got Kawhi being better than Luka, but I think there will be multiple spots in this series where people are like, yo, Luka's clearly the best player in this series. I believe that. So again, I know I'm kind of beating around the bush with this one. Clippers and seven is the prediction, damn it. I'm not going to beat around the bush anymore. Clippers and seven is my prediction. This is going to be a very long series, and I think it's going to be categorized by blowouts. So I think there's a good chance... Three Clipper wins in this series out of the four are going to be Clipper blowouts. I think there's a good chance the three wins that I have the Mavs get in this series are going to be blowouts. And then maybe a really close game seven, something along the lines of that. That's how I see this series playing out. But at the end of the day, the Clippers will be advanced into the second round of the playoffs and they will be taking on the winner of the Utah Jazz and the Memphis Grizzlies series. All right. Let me know what you got in this series. Comments by below. I'm out.